At a time when its rivals are trimming back on their two-door lineups, Mercedes-Benz is doubling down on coupes. The automaker has more two-door models than any other luxury brand. We pride ourselves on having the broadest product offering in the luxury market. That's true for the core segments, but I think that's true for the relevant niches like coupes too, says Bernie Glazer, general manager of product management, and the coupe market is an attractive one because the buyers are loyal. They don't buy SUVs, they want their stylish coupe. Yes, Mercedes-Benz is clearly a coupe specialist, and much of that comes from a long tradition of crafting some of the world's most comfortable, chic and stylish personal luxury mechanics. Look no further than the current S-Class coupe of stunning and as it turns out, those good genes have been passed down to its younger brother. The new 7th generation E400 coupe The new E400 is one exceedingly handsome coupe it's perhaps the best looking E-Class two-door since the W124 model of 1987-1996. But unlike that model, this new one shares little sheet metal with other E-Class models OK, yes, the headlights and grill are similar to the sedan and wagon, but just about everything else is a clean sheet rethink Mercedes even ditched the front fenders from the E-Class sedan and wagon Why? It has a deep grease that runs down the side of the panel and sharp lines are like, so 2016 Glazer says this car signals a new design direction for the brand, one without an overload of lines and folds in the metal it all works very well Mercedes-Benz wraps the E400's metal around the current E-Class chassis. Compared to the E300 sedan, the E400 coupe is nearly 4 inches shorter overall and rides on a wheelbase that's been trimmed by 2.6 however, when parked next to the last E coupe, which was based on the old C-Class architecture, this one is much larger and that means interior space has expanded to create more room for passengers and their stuff rear seat legroom is particularly generous Mercedes-Benz says there's actually more space back there than the S-Class coupe my full-size American adult frame has plenty of leg and headroom sitting behind a 6-foot-4 colleague in the front seat, 